video we are going to discuss about the distribution system. The electric power system mainly comprises of three components. They are the generating station, the transmission system and the distribution system. The distribution system is again divided into two types. That is the primary distribution system and the secondary distribution system. The primary distribution system is mainly done through three phase three wire system whereas the secondary distribution system takes into consideration three phase four wire system. Basically three phase four wire system is taken to encounter the single phase domestic loads that comes during the consumption purposes. Whenever we are giving that the voltage in the three uh, secondary distribution is 400 volt that is the line voltage between two phases and whenever the voltage mentioned is 230 volt then that is the as I have already discussed the distribution of electric power for consumption purpose is known as a distribution system here you can see the layout of the components of a distribution system here ds represents the distribution substation from where the conductors those are arising out of it will be called the feeders feeders will be connected through the distributors and from the distributors the tappings those are taken are called the service mains so coming here you can see the feeder is a conductor that connects the substation to the area where power is to be distributed the design criteria basically for a feeder is the current carrying capacity. Coming to the distributor. Distributor is the conductor from which tappings are taken for supply to the consumers. The design criteria considered here is the voltage drop along its length. The voltage drop should be plus minus 6% of the rated value at the consumer terminals. From the distributor, the cable that connects the distributor to the consumer terminals are called the service mains. So here you can see the service mains. From the distribution substation, the conductors arising are the feeders. Then the conductors connecting to feeders will be called the distributors. From the distributors, the tappings taken are called the service mains. Now coming to the classification of distribution system. Distribution system are classified based on the nature of current. Based on the nature of current, it will be the AC distribution system and the DC distribution system. Basing on the type of construction, distribution system is divided into two types. They are the overhead system and the underground system. Now, Basing on the scheme of connection, again the distribution system is divided into three types that is the radial system, the ring main system and the interconnected system. Now first coming to the radial system. In the radial system, the substation is the central part from where the feeders will be arising out. From the feeders, the distributors will be connected. So here from the substation separate feeders radiate then they feed the distributors at one end only. From each feeder there will be one distributor and this radial system is normally considered whenever the power is generated at low voltage and the substation is located at the center of the load. Next come to the ring main system. In the ring main system the primary of the distribution transformers in each case here you can see distribution transformers are taken this distribution transformers are the step down transformers so from the primary side of the distribution transformer they form a loop that loop is called the primary ring the loop circuit starts from the substation here you can see a substation is there from this substation the primary ring will start and the loop circuit then it will take into account the substation bus bars makes a loop through the area to be served and again it returns back to the substation so from substation we are going to a primary ring from the primary ring the primary of distribution transformers are connected from the distribution transformer the distributor will be there from the distributor the tappings are taken these are the service mains which are connected to the consumer loads now in the interconnected system 
the feeder ring is energized by one or more than two substations here you can see s1 and s2 are the two substations these two substations will form a feeder ring from the feeder ring the distribution transformers are connected on the secondary side of the distributor transformers the distributor lines are there from the distributors the tappings are taken to the service mains and finally to the consumer loads so in case of interconnected system more than two generating stations or substations will be connected the distributors are connected to the feeder ring through this distribution transformers so here we have completed the different types of distribution system based on the scheme of connection the first one was the radial system the second one was the ring main system and the third one is the interconnected system now coming to the dc distribution dc distribution was basically based on the type of current so first is the dc distribution in the dc distribution again we will take into account three types that is when the distributor is fed at one end here you can see a line a and b are two points or the end points a is at the supply end we are supplying the electric power at point a so point a will be carrying the load currents i1 i2 and i3 and here tappings or loading loading will be done at separate points so at the first point we are tapping off the current i1 or the load current i1 when i1 has been subtracted from the phasor sum of i1 plus i2 plus i3 the remainder current that will be going or passing through the distributor will be i2 plus i3 again we will be at a separate point we will be tapping off the current i2 so whenever current i2 has been tapped off the remainder current i3 will be going and that will be tapped off at a, another point that is i3 will be tapped off so in case of distributor fed at one end the voltage or the load voltage at the supply end will be the maximum then the load voltage goes on decreasing as we separate from the supply end or whenever we will be moving towards point b then the load voltage will be the minimum here so load voltage is maximum at point a and it goes on decreasing when we move towards point b now next coming to distributor fed at both ends in this case you can see two points a and b i have given here arrow mark so from both sides the distributor will be fed and here three points have been taken that is c d and d these are the tapping points of current so load current will be tapped off at point c will be i1 load current tapped off at point d will be i2 load current tapped off at point e will be i3 so whenever we are tapping this currents and supply is being given from two ends the load voltage goes on decreasing from the supply end now we are considering point a so considering point a the load voltage goes on decreasing it will reach the minimum value or the minimum potential at point d here the voltage goes on decreasing it attains the minimum potential then again as we move towards point b that is again another one supply point so the load voltage again increases and it attains the maximum value at point b so point a and point b are the maximum values of load voltage or the maximum potential points point d whenever we are reaching the midpoint of the supply ends from both supply ends the midpoint will be giving the minimum potential value or the minimum value of load voltage will be attained here at i2 point at point d where load current i2 will be tapped off this is the third type of dc distribution system that is the ring distributor the ring distributor here you can see only one feeder is being taken and the feeder forms a feeder ring from the feeder ring three load currents i1 i2 and i3 are tapped off at different points the distributor ring fed at both ends to form a closed ring will be called the ring distributor so we complete the dc distribution here that is the first one was distributor fed at one end then we discussed about the distributor fed at two ends 
and this one is the ring distributor. Now coming to the AC distribution system, I will be discussing here the three phase four wire star connected system arrangement. Basically this type of system arrangement that is three phase four wire system is done to fit the single phase residential loads as well as the three phase loads. Whenever three phase three wire is given then three phase loads can be given supply. But for the single phase loads we need a neutral and a phase. So three phase four wire system is taken into account. Here you can see in the diagram the RYB. These are the three phases and the, um, for star connection the midpoint will form the neutral. So Z1, Z2 and Z3 are the impedances respectively of the red, yellow and the blue phase. From here you can see the current IR is entering. From the Y phase IY and from the B phase IB. All these three the phasor sum will be coming out the written path will be the neutral. And it will be represented as IN will be equal to IR plus IY plus IB. So current in the neutral wire is shown as the phasor sum of the currents flowing through the three phases that is R, Y and B phase. So today overall we have discussed about the distribution system basing on the type of current passed it is AC and DC distribution system the types of DC distribution system how the AC distribution system is comprised of as well as the different types of the interconnected system based on the scheme of connection thank you